You know, I was pleasantly surprised a couple weeks ago when the folks over at TT Artisan reached out to me about testing their 23mm f1.4 manual focus lens for the X mount. You know, I've never actually used a manual focus lens before. Um, when I have manual focused in the past, it's always been with an autofocus lens, so I've always had that fallback in case I'm struggling to nail focus manually. And so for this photo walk, I'm gonna be shooting with this little guy for a change. You know, making gear reviews and talking about camera equipment in a technical way is not something I'm all that interested in, but having received this lens, I thought I'd give it sort of a practical test um, and maybe share some of my experiences and thoughts after spending some time shooting with it, so. Let's head back to the POV. I actually missed focus quite a few more times than I thought I would, but I don't know, it seems like focus peaking can be kind of deceptive sometimes about what is actually in focus, but you know, it's probably just my inexperience to be honest. I think the biggest difference for me when shooting manually is the fact that I have to slow down a lot more and be more methodical, I guess, when I'm out there doing street photography or trying to capture images. You know, I don't typically like to stick around in places for very long and like to stay on the move. And so for me, autofocus is a little more ideal as it allows me to be quicker on my feet and be more spontaneous when capturing images. With manual focus lenses though, I have to take a little more time setting up the shot and preparing for a subject or any element that I'm trying to photograph as you know I need to make sure everything's in focus and so for me shooting manually takes a little more effort and yes I do know zone focusing is a thing I didn't really do it this time but it's definitely a technique I intend to practice a lot more so that in the future I can shoot more comfortably in fast-paced environments with a manual focus lens very classic western style architecture
So I thought I'd take a moment to just spend some time talking about the lens itself. Despite only being $99, the build quality of the lens is actually very nice overall. It feels really solid and seemingly has a lot of metal in the build and feels quite hefty actually for its size. The manual focus ring turns nice and smoothly with hard stops at both ends, which is always welcome. Um, a lot of my more premium Fuji Prime lenses, the focus ring just keeps turning all the way. So that's just not something I've ever enjoyed using or liked seeing in lenses. The lens also features an aperture ring, which is something I'm sure a lot of people love to see. Um, as for the ring itself, uh, it's a little bit too narrow for my taste, so it can be a little uncomfortable to grip at times, but the upside is that it doesn't turn too easily, and so I'm never really worried about accidentally bumping the aperture too wide or too narrow without noticing while shooting. Um, that's an issue I've had with a number of lenses I've used in the past. And optically, honestly, I've got nothing to complain about. You know, I'm not a pixel peeper, so, you know, looking at absolute sharpness is not something I care all that much about. And so for my needs, I'm pretty satisfied with what the lens offers. I think that's enough talking for now, though, so let's get back to the POV.
So yeah, something a little different this time. Uh, I'll definitely try practicing and shooting with more manual focus lenses in the future, and perhaps even some vintage ones, but overall, you know, despite being a little slower and perhaps even a little more challenging, I still had a lot of fun doing this. So yeah, thank you to the folks at TD Artisan for sending me this lens to play around with and try out. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out this lens or any other lens in TD Artisan's lineup for various mount systems. That's all I have for today though, so thank you for watching and we'll catch up in the next one.